Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for a new donation deck, which I'm calling Mardu Mastery. We are playing a Lich's Mastery deck in the Mardu colors. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so this is what we have here. Yeah, so we're playing some best of one, so we're going to go and play a best of one league here with this deck. Uh, and this, that's with the best of one, which is, is why we have 15 different sideboard cards over here. All different sideboard cards that we can go grab with Mastermind's Acquisition in the best of one um, format. So basically, let's see what this card says. So uh, it, it the Mastery does have Hexproof, and it says that we can't lose the game, so that's already a good start. Whenever we gain life, we draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life for each one life, you lost exile a permanent you control or a card from your hand or graveyard. And then if Lich's Mastery leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. So basically what we have here is we have like an aggro deck that can pressure our opponent, but uh, then we can kind of turn the corner with Lich's Mastery. So with our with our aggro deck if we can slam lich's mastery and we can untap with it then we can start casting these chance for glories and give our creatures indestructible and take extra turns because it says at the beginning of that extra turn you lose the game but we don't actually lose the game when we have the lich's mastery out so we try to you know have multiple combats with these chance for glories with with our creatures that we have here um we also have we have the ajani's welcome is like our main source of life gain that you know we'll will help us stay alive and then also whenever we play creatures each creature we play with our lich's mastery out we we gain a life whenever the creature enters and then we draw a card i don't know this, this deck's gonna be kind of crazy it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out and everything like that um <laughs> yeah cleansing nova would yes yeah if, if they cleansing nova and destroy enchantments you lose yes um it's fun to play it's fun to watch Cool. That's that's what I like to hear. So, let's give it a try here. Let's take it for a spin here. Mardu Mastery. It's an aggro deck. So we're gonna go over to the constructed event, and this we're gonna play until we have seven wins or three losses. This is what we're doing over here in the best of one. All right, Matthew. Catch you later. Everything kind of costs three mana. Yeah, I'm thinking like maybe like right around here on the picture above, above where it has like. Do I want to... Hmm. Maybe, like, right over here, have it say, like, best of one. Um, like, off to the side over there. All right, so we are going to have to shock. Okay, so like like over here like where the cursor is. Like it would be above it would be above like the twitch.tv slash dot Stevens MTG, which would be down here. Yeah, so bottom right, yeah. Theater of Horrors. That's a really good light up the stage for us because if our opponent wants to play the Theater of Horrors, they're likely not going to be able to kill my knight here. 
Are there any cards like for each time you've discarded a card you do something that number of times? I can't think of anything like that in standard. Oh, Deckmaster, I gotta get I gotta get that back up, sorry. With resetting the the computer and everything, forgot to get Deckmaster back up. So thank you for letting me know. So yeah, last turn I just I wanted to get the Squire's Devotion in play on my creature. Um, especially with how like our opponent's next turn was likely gonna go. Not blocking the 1-1 one, one lifelinker. Alright, so we're gaining a lot of life. Hopefully, that helps us out here. We're still, like, all they need are, like, two lightning strikes, basically. Like, just lightning strike the war boss, lightning strike the Aspire's Devotion. And then we are pretty dead after that. They did just play a land from hand, so now... They're not able to play this land from Theater of Horrors. Lich's Mastery would be a good draw. I guess we would need one more mana, but it would let us cast our Chance for Glory. Kind of need any of our creatures. You know, Rekindling Phoenix, Seraph of the Scales. Those would be awesome. want to play Teo Shield Mage with Lich's Mastery. Just all the blockers and things to sack to Lich's Mastery. I, d I don't know exactly what Teo Shield Mage does. What does that do? Yeah, no lag, no lagging so far. Hmm. Makes makes you hexproof when you play you get O3 walls. Well, it looks like we're ahead right now. They have a theater force gonna be tough. We need to, I mean, we have a lot of really good draws, but we need to, you know, draw something. <laughs> we did have a chance for glory. We have not taken that chance yet, though, I guess. We, we do have a couple chances. They could have just used one firebrand to kill both of my things and then attack for five. But I guess they would rather have they'd rather have the three one kill my things than the firebrand, I guess.
They still take him a little bit to kill us. I uh, know we are playing the con we are playing the best we're playing best of one right now. Best of one constructed event. Yeah, these chance for glories are feel bad. When you draw that four mana card, a Mastermind's Acquisition, because that can go find us something that can win. I don't know exactly what that will be yet. This is kind of the problem with just playing cards like a Johnny's Welcome, Chance for Glory, Squire's Devotion. We've basically had three cards this this time. You know, we've had Moment of Craving, History, and Legion's War Boss. Scared of Settle. Make them kill us less fast. That's good. That's good. Almost time just to start casting these chance for glories. We are really dead this next turn. Did we at least get a cool animation. That's a pretty cool animation. Okay, we found the mastery. That's a start. We're doing it. Okay, history of Benalia. That just gets rid of two cards in the graveyard. This is going to be a lot of triggers. <laughs> All right, gain a life, draw a card. Going off. Whew. Splendid Angel, gain a life, draw a card.
Okay. Um, outside the game. What do I actually want? Sanguine Sacrament? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. They could gain sixteen life. Draw sixteen. We do have a lot of mana. No, no more turns. No more turns, unfortunately. I think we have another turn. I don't think we're gonna die here. Ow. So nine damage. We're going to get rid of three other ones. So that's three. Or so that's nine, so we have three more. So one land would be two more. I could just get rid of the Johnny's Welcome in the history. No, I think I think history is worth having. I probably should have got Lyra or a, a board wipe. I guess the sacrament was not the correct thing to get. <laughs> Sack Lich's mastery. Well, got the wrong card here with the Sacrament. That's two more things. Ugh. I mean, if I draw, like, a Sweeper... No, we don't we don't have cry of the carnarium. That's that's what that's the thing we messed up. Should have cry of the carnarium in here. Should have got Lyra, not Sanguine Sacrament. All right, I mean, this game's over. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. Yeah, this game's over.
Um, I don't, I don't know if Lyra would have really done it either. I don't know. We needed, yeah, Cryolocarnarium would have been nice. We got to do some cool stuff there that game after not doing anything forever. So that's good. Yeah, we we did have a sweeper. We could have like cleansing Nova, but then we still would have taken a bunch of damage. Like we would have sacked a ton of permanents. The like, cleansing Nova would not have done it. Like by the time we would have cast cleansing Nova, because of Judith, we would have taken a lot of damage. Yeah, Judith was a killer. That mono red deck having Judith. That card was a killer. Resplendent Angel. That's my card. This is looking good for us. Yeah, we need to cry the Carnarium in the sideboard. They still would have been able to keep um, Steamkin alive, right? Because Steamkin was a 3-3 at the time, I believe. Gained enough life for a Splendid Angel. I mean, we did before the Moment of Craving. We had gained five anyway, but still going to get that of Johnny's Pride Mate out here. Yeah, I'm casting Chance for Glory for Lethal. This thing's an instant. Alright. One to one. Man, best of one games can go quick. Cavalcade of Calamity. I know, we didn't get to actually cast the Chance for Glory. It's a pretty nice curve here. Knight of Grace, History of Benalia, then Rekindling Phoenix. And we have good mana. Ooh, or double history. Merfolk, no chance, no glory. <laughs> no, I, I have not played a Calamity deck at all. Calamity deck. I have. I have not played one. Good, good third turn for them. We're still hitting harder for now. I could like Mastermind's Acquisition there for a sweeper, I guess. I mean, 
it'd be ritual of soot, but it's like that kills all my stuff too. I mean, basically they need sleep. They have been awake for too long. They need some sleep. I don't have any one mana card in my sideboard, right? No. Oh, I have a Shivan, Shivan Fire main deck. Let's make sure. Okay, good. In case of a counter spell, I just wait on their turn. Do this on their turn. Kill that thing. Have to leave everything back, or they don't. <laughs> They're like, "Now nah, we don't have to leave everything back. We're attacking." All right, two and one. History, history of Benalia was great. Well, we keep getting good hands. I'm gonna go ahead and shock in here. Because we could we could draw a two drop that we were gonna want to play for curve considerations, and with having a, a Johnny's welcome, you know the the two life's probably not gonna be as necessary. Yeah, they had four blockers. We had five attackers though. Our next turn, at least. Well, let's go in the air. They had to leave every every creature. If they would have leave, left all of their creatures back, they could basically chump block out and stay alive. But that would get rid of everything. Love it. We're gonna Squire's Devotion the Seraph next turn, make it five power, life link. It's good for the resplendent angel too. Yeah, we have four tokens. Uh, because you know, two two histories, they each made two tokens. So we're going to be doing our War of the Spark set review tomorrow. Normal stream time from 3 to 10 Eastern. No.
Kill that. Of course, I you know technically should be waiting till post combat, but just making it a little easier here. What do they have over there? Needle Tooth Raptor. That's a cool card. Hey, Preach is gifting out five subs to the channel. Preach True, thank you so much. Uh, Kinetic, if you were going to try to grind gold as fast as possible in a best of three event, what deck would you use? I would probably use I would probably use Orzhov Angels. Yeah, I think I would use Orzhov Angels. So does this mean everything has to block it? All right, everything has to block that thing. Preach true. Thank you. Thank you so much for those gifted subs. Uh, congratulations for those of you that got those gifted subs. Hope you enjoy all those awesome emotes. Well, thank you so much, Preachu. Just keep the good work, man. Love the streams. This is very kind. All right, so the graphic stuff that we're trying to do before this hasn't hasn't solved the, the lag of problems uh, completely. How long ago did I restart? Uh, I don't know, not, that was an hour ago. It was whenever we started streaming again. That's the good part about Lich's Mastery. We fooled our opponent. They thought that it was a a card that we needed, it, you know, like a necessary card or something. But it was not. It's not a card we need. In fact, it doesn't really even help us right now. Card's cool. We did we did lower some settings um, here before before this one. What 
what is what is a one drive what is that We're gonna give this acquisition. Yeah, I think my computer does have one drive according to like just doing a little search here. Like, a, a captive audience would be awesome, but, you know, we're a long ways away from casting that. Ah, Thanks, Free Chew. Other half of those gifted subs for you, so walk it around, money. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you. I don't really see anything at five mana. I mean, like, I guess. I mean, well, I guess Ixalan's binding would be really good for this bolus. I was thinking maybe Eldritch Reborn. I kind of like binding. I, I don't know what the problem is, Harar. I don't I don't know what the problem is. We haven't been able to find out of any problem yet. We haven't been able to figure it out. According to the, the specs on the PC, it should be plenty good to accomplish the task at hand. So feeling like our opponent has felt like our opponent has a counter spell there. I wanted to try to wait a turn, see if we could bait a counter spell out. But yeah, we're certainly gonna binding this turn. Hey Gatsby. So they're at four, and we have two little flyers in the air. That's our plan. Let's try to finish them off, these little flyers. No! My plan! Oh, my plan!
All right, let's go for it. All right, four and one. Our deck's doing pretty good. We didn't really do any of like the, the crazy things in our deck there. Um, Gruel, Stompy, I uh, can get uploaded basically right now. I need to just, all I have to do is put the thumbnail on it. That will just take me a little bit here. Stompy is up on on YouTube now. So if I cast Moment of Craving, they don't get to flip Legion's Landing. But if I cast Knight of Grace, I get to get a free block in. Let's go Knight of Grace. Night of Grace with Squire's Devotion could be really nice. Correct, McCarty, yeah. Well, this was not a good turn for me. So maybe I should have moment of cravinged. The lag is not from uploading. That is, it happens whether I'm uploading or not. It, that doesn't change it. That's one thing that we've tried out. Hopefully they don't have a removal spell. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, Venerate Luxodon is an incredible card. It's a whole lot of power and toughness. I'm glad we get the Snubhorn Sentry out of here. I don't really know why it was attacking. And, like, why something else wasn't also attacking. So with Tithaker... Tithaker is kind of annoying. I don't get to double Moment of Craving here. Can only play one Moment of Craving.
So hoping they just attack with the elephant again. And then we'll moment of craving the elephant. Perfect. This is working out. The squire on Nida Grace working out for us. Yeah, okay, what can I do with this? I can go get Ritual of Set. That kills my own Nida Grace, though. Hmm. And go go get Lyra Dawnbringer. Deafening Clarion. Yeah, I've seen the, the cat creature in War of the Spark. I like it. Land, please. Not a land. Well, I definitely just, I definitely acquisitioned for Settle the Wreckage. Wow, that's really annoying draw. Really? You have to draw that? I don't I don't really think Clarion was the pick. Because Clarion they just get all these tokens from these things and it kills my creature. I don't I don't think Clarion would have been a, a good card to get. Yeah, Cry of the Carnarium would have been nice. So the one card we need to put in the sideboard is Cry of the Carnarium. We need to get that in there. But, of course, after after that unbreakable formation, Cry of the Carnarium was not going to kill very many of their things. Submerged Boneyard. That's one of my favorite lands. Submerged Boneyard. It's a fun one. So basically, I think Seraph of the Scales is a an important card to have uh, in play right now. It is good against removal like that. And 
And the white source is a good draw. Now we're just one one land away from being able to activate Resplendent Angel. Or, you know, of course, cast Lich's Mastery. This is a little bit of a risky matchup for Lich's Mastery. I could certainly see my opponent having... I could see them having Cleansing Nova. Hey, DJM. Happy two months. Thanks for resubbing, DJM. Great at refilling though. As long as. Oh, dang it. Stupid shock land. As long as our opponent doesn't have cleansing Nova. So risky. Oh, you feel alive. No. No. Our opponent had the cleansing Nova. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> that is the bane of Lich's mastery right there. Whenever a Nova comes and cleanses it. This deck was pretty fun to play, though. Uh, so we, we definitely said that we need to cry the Carnarium in the sideboard. We, we certainly need one of those. Um... Maybe over Ritual of Soot? Like, you probably don't need Cleansing Nova and Ritual of Soot and Deafening Clarion and Cry the Carnarium. Like, you can probably get rid of one of those. Nah, Consume's cool. Spyglass is cool. Unbreakable Formation is cool. So it's it's probably one of these other sweepers. Yeah, don't they know Kaya's Wrath is legal? Gotta play all the Kaya's Wraths. So probably Ritual of Soot. Yeah, so probably get, get out of Ritual of Soot for Cry the Carnarium. There we go. Um... A Johnny's Welcome... It was, you know, it did some things. It gained a little life. Honestly, I think Revitalize is just a better card than a Johnny's Welcome. You know, if we gained three life with a Johnny's Welcome, that was, like, kind of a lot. And just having it cycle is really nice. I, I would recommend playing Revitalize instead of a Johnny's Welcome myself. Because, uh, you know, early on in the game, just having your, your card cycle, I think, is really nice. So it can kill Krasis, though. That's true. I and mean, we, we do have Cleansing Nova to kill Krasis. And we have Eldest Reborn. If it's their only thing, we have Eldest Reborn and we have Consume. Maybe we don't need Consume if we have Eldest Reborn. Maybe you don't need both Consume and Eldest Reborn. I mean, I guess, I guess Consume gets, like, one big thing, like a Carnage Tyrant. But then at that point, you know, you can also Cleansing Nova. 
So it is amazing, amazing at Sultai. That is true. All right, so if we put Soot back in there, I guess we can take out Consume. Either Consume or Eldritch Reborn. No, Eldritch Reborn's good against Planeswalkers, too. Yeah, maybe just take out Consume. Yeah, Consume does have some good life gain, but that's all right. Um... So, no, I'd have to, I'd have to play it a little more, but I, I think... Uh, I think I'd rather have Revitalized than a Johnny's Welcome in the deck. But it's still pretty fun. Squire's Devotion was, like, surprisingly strong. That card did a lot of work for us. We got to do some Chance for Glory stuff once. That was pretty cool. Sarah Phoenix, of course, those cards are awesome. <laughs> yeah, Captive Audience is... I mean, that card's worth it. Against, like, a, a Grixis Control or whatever... Like, if you have the mana, we didn't have the mana against the Grixis control that we got, that we played. But if you have the mana, you can acquisition for this. It can just win, win the game on its own. It's possible we don't need the, actually, we probably just don't need the other Lich's Mastery in the sideboard, right? Like, when are we ever going to go to the sideboard and grab Mastery if they've, like, already get, gotten rid of two Masteries? Yeah, like, this this card just doesn't need to be in there. So there you go. Now you can still have consume in there. Yeah, you don't you don't need that third mastery in the board cuz if you need to go grab mastery, you can just have acquisition grab the mastery from your deck. Oh, if they cast on Mordigo? Yeah, that's that's still fine. It's you don't need mastery to win the game. You're not relying on it. So even if they if they unmord ego a, a mastery, you're you're good. Like, you you just don't you don't need it to win at all. Y'all think Fountain of Renewal instead of a Johnny's Welcome? I do like how Fountain of Renewal you do get to draw a card. You can sack it and draw a card. That's pretty nice. A Johnny's Welcome can go crazy though. We saw that, you know, because like it'll trigger off like your history token coming in, and then you know you play your War Boss and it triggers, and then your other War Boss token it triggers. I think I like Welcome more than that. Welcome does seem kind of cool with mastery like you know we had like that one game where we had like a lot of mana like in a late game where we like play a creature draw a card play that creature draw a card play that creature draw a card kind of thing but that still may not be as good as just revitalize revitalize is just draw four for two mana and early on it replaces itself i don't know Yeah, Varchild, thanks for the donation deck here with Mardu Mastery. Thanks so much. That was fun to play. Um, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching.